Hey everyone, it's Aaron from Testo here at TCHS Downingtown on the Brandywine campus. And what we're gonna go through today is the pressure leak test. So just for demonstration purposes, we're running on a live system. Generally with a pressure leak test, your system has been brazed in. You pumped a lot of nitrogen in there. Again, based on the pressures that you are typically running with the refrigerant. Uh, so gonna simulate how the pressure leak test works with the device. So what we're gonna go is we're gonna go back into our menu. We're gonna hit our measuring modes and we're gonna go down to the pressure leak test. Now the pressure leak test does allow for temperature compensation so you can use smart probes, whether you have a 905i, a 115i, or the new 915i thermal couple type cape smart probe. You have the ability to use that as well too to get your temperature compensation. So for now I'm using a 115i. The one thing is, since we have the new LCD screens with the larger display and you're able to get your measurements, what we're gonna go ahead and do is run a pressure leak test. And you can see it's in a pie graph format. So what I'm gonna go ahead here is I'm gonna start. And when you start, you're gonna have your current pressure and your start pressure. And there's also the timer up top as well too. So Whatever you feel comfortable running, whether it's uh, all night, all day, 10 hours, five hours, you have that flexibility. That is your decision to make. But what we are giving you from Testo is a graphical display. So what we're gonna do now is let this run for a little bit and I'm gonna show you how the, the display adjusts with the pie. All right, so we let the manifold run for about three minutes. And what I wanted to demonstrate is exactly what does the final result look like? So again, these time limits are strictly up to you, but for what Testo is giving you is we're giving you the timer, we're giving you the start pressure, we're giving you your current pressure, and we're also giving you that delta pressure. So when you start this and you stop it, it's gonna give you the reading as to where you're at. So as you can see, we have a delta pressure of minus 13. You've got a pretty wide opening of the graph. So again, with the traditional old school displays and the new age look with the digital technology, you're able to see that, okay, I've got a pretty opening. I may have a leak. I may have a fitting that may not be connected completely. So that's where you as the tech come in and we're able to diagnose that problem. If it's a skinnier one or a skinnier pie, you should be okay from that perspective. But again, that's strictly up to you. The temperature compensation was on, so I'm adjusting, but since I'm inside and we're doing this as a simulation on a live system, we've got the temperature compensation working as well. I also have the app running, so you're able to see the same results. You're able to see everything, your start and your delta, as well as the sweeping gauges and where it start from a little green line. You can also pull up the graphics to see if there was any dips or it went back up with the temperature compensation and same with the table view. Again, same thing, I can create a report out of this, save it to my current customer, and create that log file for that customer. Special thank you today to TCHS Brandywine in downtown Pennsylvania for allowing us to use their HVAC lab. And for more information on more Testo products, visit us at www.testo.com.